MercyCare is proud to ally with the LGBTQIA community. Hi, I'm Tad Gary, Deputy Chief Executive Officer at MercyCare. Our job is to provide access to equitable health resources, but sometimes folks need legal resources to support their health and well being because everyone deserves access to health care. This topic is important because it's all about human beings receiving the respect and the dignity and the care that they deserve. And it's about preserving people's voices and empowering them to live out all of their days as who they are in ways that are fair and reasonable and right. My name is Deb Sang, and I'm the Director of Caregiving and Community Initiatives at Pima Council on Aging. Members of the LGBTQI plus community face a number of challenges. Their access to health care and their what is called goal concordant care is really limited. And that is in large part because the organizations that fund services for older adults do not recognize the LGBTQI plus populations as underserved communities. The amount of care that they can receive for any possible medical conditions, as well as that sense of self and receiving holistic care is minimized first and foremost. One of the things about Mercy Care that I am so grateful for is that Mercy Care has provided the kind of passion, support, and interest to ensure that people have access to health care that is inclusive and respectful, compassionate, and kind. But in addition to that, Mercy Care has helped our organization to, to develop video trainings that will go out to professionals in senior care to ensure that whether it is a lack of awareness, whether it is bias, or even if it's discrimination, that providers in elder care services, be they health care or be they social services, have access to information that will propel forward that empathy and compassion so that all people receive care that is respectful and honoring to their identity. I think this is really important conversation because everyone needs to have basic understanding of what happens as they age. Hi, my name is Haley Collins. I am a social worker with the Jackson White Elder Law Firm. Some of the concerns we have for people as they age, loneliness, discrimination by providers, current advanced directives, and elder abuse risks. Having organizations like Mercy Care that can support and provide resources makes a big difference, especially when people are in crisis situations and don't know where to start. Domestic partners have no legal rights when it comes to making decisions for their loved one. And so starting this conversation, making people aware of the type of conversations that need to be had, um, especially for the LGBTQI plus community where maybe they don't feel as comfortable talking to healthcare providers because of the stigma of their relationship, the lack of legal marriage in place. I think it's really important that they understand that there are documents and legal work that can be done to protect and maintain the control of their healthcare decisions. Having these documents in place not only provides peace of mind personally, but also for your loved ones who are making these decisions when you can't, knowing that they're making the decisions that you would want them to. There are many social service organizations that provide these services without cost. And all that it takes often is a phone call, a first step to an organization like Pima Council on Aging to find out who those resources are and to receive that sort of personalized assistance to talk through. So that's the work that we do, is helping people to find their voice, to express their voice, and to preserve that voice into the future. Mm -hmm.